Hello, this is a book called Be the Change, Poems to Help You Save the World by me, Liz Brownlee, Matt Goodfellow and Roger Stevens. And we're going to read you some poems from it. This is a poem called Start Now. Be the change you want to see. Walk the walk, stand with me. Take the challenge, spread the word. We can make our voices heard. Every single action helps, with a friend or by yourself. Be the change you want to see. Walk the walk, stand with me. Let us save the planet, one step at a time. One paper bag at a time. One reusable water bottle at a time. One light switched off at a time. One encouraging word at a time. One vegetarian option at a time. One cycle ride at a time. One moment of compassion at a time. One chat to the old person on the bus at a time. One cheery word to a homeless person at a time. One windmill at a time. One free-range organic egg at a time. One planted seed at a time. One good deed at a time. One hug at a time. One poem at a time. And over time, all those one at a times will help save the planet. Did you know that uh, every year, just at Christmas, 50,000 trees are cut down in the UK for wrapping paper alone? That doesn't uh, account for any cards or anything like that. And wrapping a present can be really fun using just things that you have around the house. Um, wrapping paper can't be recycled usually because it's covered in plastic. So one way of doing it is uh, brown paper and coloured string. This is raffia, which is biodegradable. This is an old hanky, which has been ironed and a bow put on it. This is some old sheet cut up and bows and bells an old gift card cut into a gift tag. Uh, this is uh, recycling and uh, I've just tied a little thing around it, a little bit and bob, bits and bobs that I had in my craft box. This is a button tied with very thin ribbon. This is an old sock with an old piece of uh, camouflage that my son used to wear around his neck when he was little. And this is a, uh, it's a little material bag that I actually bought somewhere, um, which we reuse again and again. And we've also got material that we bought and cut up into pieces, which we wrap our Christmas and birthday presents in every year. And we've done that for about 10 years now, and we've bought no wrapping paper at all. So here's the book be the change and here's the poem from it. My favourite thing. Christmas and birthdays and festive occasions I gift wrap my gifts in for all celebrations. Brown paper packages tied up with string. Sustainable wrap is my favourite thing. Cream coloured hankies and warm crisp white sheeting gathered with ribbons and pretty with pleating. Small bells and posies and leaf sprigs for trims. Sustainable wrap is my favourite thing. Red socks or boxes with green satin sashes. Cards cut in gift tags for fine fancy flashes. Styling recycling to put my gifts in. Sustainable wrap is my favourite thing. The Christmas season being the reason trees are felled is sad. But then I remember I saved some myself. So then I don't feel so bad. And you might recognise some of those words from Rodgers and Hammerstein. Julie Andrews singing my favourite things. This is a poem called Glitter Quitter. I used to be a teacher, I used to ban glitter from my classroom, kids would complain, but all that glitter sticks to your hands, gets washed off, goes down the sink, out into the sea. Glitter Quitter. 
Be a glitter quitter though, it might seem kind of drastic. Little fish will think it's dinner when it's really microplastic. And the only things we need to glitter underneath the waves are the scales of little fishes that a glitter quitter saves. So be a glitter quitter, it's a better thing to be than a bit of glitter glue ascending litter to the sea. Good morning, little bee. It's great to be alive. On this lovely summer's morning, collecting pollen for your hive. Good morning, little bee. I wonder if you knew so many fruits and foods we eat depend on bees like you. For as you buzz from flower to flower, you pollinate each one. Without you, I'm afraid the human race would be undone. Good morning, little bee. May I just say this to you? Thank you, little bee, for all the work you do. This poem is about Greta Thunberg, the 15-year-old schoolgirl and climate activist who started the first school strikes for climate. Greta Thunberg, when the whole world is deaf, by greed and by choice. How do you change things with only your voice? It's hard to be noticed, harder to be heard, but she stood up and spoke, could not be deterred. What made them listen? What cut through their lies? Not the pollution or the fast melting ice, not the experts or science, not hunger or flood, nor the extinctions, our hands red with blood. It was her steady gaze on our planet, a light, her desperate calm, her demand, make it right. It's what we'll recall of her fight for our youth, her luminous words, her courage, her truth. I am Captain Save the Planet. I am green, not green like the Green Lantern. Not green like the Incredible Hulk, no. I am green like the forests, like grass, like ferns, and the green clean air that blew across the planet long ago. I am Captain Save the Planet. I am strong, not strong like my arch enemy radioactive man who burns the sky with invisible rays. Not like coal power man who spews out deadly fumes. No, I am strong like the wind, turning a million wind turbines. I am strong like the sun, heating a million homes. I am Captain Save the Planet and I am looking for an assistant. Would you care to apply? This is a poem called The First. Thomas was the first to make loom bands and sell them at break time. The first to dab, the first to stop dabbing, the first to floss, the first to stop flossing, the first with fidget spinners, the first to put his hand up in a lesson about aspirations when Miss asked who wanted to change the world for the better. The first to say he'd do it by inventing something, to stop the glaciers melting, to reverse global warming, to clean up the rivers and vacuum the sea. But no one can do that, Thomas, Miss said. It's impossible. Thomas smiled, looked her straight in the eye. Nothing's impossible, Miss. There's a first time for everything. Someone will do it, and I guarantee I'll do it first. That person is me. This poem from Be The Change is about the orangutan, one of my favourite creatures and also one of the most endangered creatures in the world. They're endangered because their forests are being cut down to grow palm oil. Palm oil is in, well, I think it's about 80% of the things that are in, your, in the supermarket. It's in chocolate and it's in margarine and it's in soap powder even. It's in everything. And you can help uh, the orangutan by looking at things you buy and checking that it says sustainable palm oil. If it's sustainable palm oil, then the orangutan is safe. 
And if it isn't sustainable palm oil, you can write to the manufacturers and say, please put sustainable palm oil in your product. Orangutan. The forest is the world to the orangutan. He seeks no more than nut, bark, fruits and leaves. They're all he needs. He has a gentle hold on his trees. What does he know of chocolate or mar margarine? His trees do not make them. No, only the oil palms marching like soldiers to take his trees that they say do not belong to the orangutan. This big old ball of iron and rock spinning through the galaxy is home to plants and animals of great diversity. The giant ocean sunfish, the tiny red-toothed shrew, the snub-nosed sneezing monkey, Padong and Boolaroo, the greater spotted woodpecker, the lesser spotted too. So many plants, so many trees, and also me and you. As we journey on, I would suggest, with quiet exactitude, we respect our fellow travellers. Not to would just be rude. This poem is called Lone Blue Whale. Six out of 13 species of whale are endangered. Far out at sea, where wild waves toss, and the wide sky holds just one albatross, where light surrounds and wind blows long, there you hear the lone whale's song, horizon to horizon, winding on and on. The air's too weak to carry the sound of his pulses and cries in the water around. The beat of his heart song has oceans to cross under a wide sky and one albatross. Let him come to no harm as he dives and he seeks breath, weeping waterfalls, cry, haunting deeps for the lone blue whale that swims wild and free has a love song as large as the wide green sea. This is a poem called Couch Superstar. It's some tips if you're a bit lazy like me um, how you can help save the world um, lazily. Couch Superstar. If changing the world seems far-fetched and crazy because frankly, my dear, you're incredibly lazy, more likely to yawn and stretch on the sofa than strap yourself into the change roller coaster, here's an idea you mustn't forget. There are ways you can help without breaking a sweat. Put on a jumper, keep thermostats low, get a blanket and rug, feel that warm cosy glow. Switch electrical equipment off at the wall, now you're part of the change with no effort at all. Just two tiny things, but look what you are, a champion of change, a couch superstar. This is the last poem in the book, it's called Snow. As they swirl in lilting flight, as cold as stars in soundless white, their drifting feathers spread their wings and sing the songs that snowflakes sing of how small gifts of peace and light can change the world in just one night.